to meet a Canadian entrepreneur. And <laughs> thank who's you. Who's migrated to the valley? <laughs> yeah. No, it's been an interesting journey. I've been here about just over a month, so it's been it's been very interesting for sure. Fabulous. And can you tell me a little bit about your startup? So my startup is called Just Be Friends. It's where kids can find new friends just like them. So it's with parents involved, and it's really about bringing friendship to kids that maybe otherwise wouldn't have it. It's a healthy, safe, productive place. Um, it's secure. Parents are directly involved, and kids find friends just like them. Fabulous. You might as well uh, get them while they're young. <laughs> yeah, and, and teach them. You know, we often yeah. think that friendship is just something that everybody knows, but it's a, there's a social education that has to happen, particularly online. So with Just Be Friends, parents are part of that process. Fabulous. And so kids don't have to wait to find their friend. They can find their friend now. Fabulous, fabulous. And um, tell me a bit about the startup scene in, in Canada and uh, what it's like to uh, be a female entrepreneur. There. You know, it's very different. You know, being a Canadian entrepreneur, there is some things happening in Canada, Vancouver, uh, University around the University of Waterloo, but I'm from the prairie and um, there's a lot of farming and right now we're really hot with a lot of resources, oil, potash. So there isn't a lot going on around technology uh -huh. and being a woman in technology, there's even less. Okay. So, you know, there is some, there's some programs there that are trying, but it, it's very, very few and far between. And uh, I know that you came out of the uh, Canadian uh, Accelerator. And, I did. And also you won uh, a spot in the... Canadian Tech Women. Do you I want did. To tell, you tell know, me a bit about your experience. That that you know. Okay. Sidebar to this, I went to the Oprah show based on Just Be Friends, right. and I always say that Oprah was a game changer in my <laughs> in my entrepreneur world. Yeah. However, winning Tech Women Canada and being part of the Canadian Tech Accelerator here has changed my business, you know, tenfold. Because without okay. having a soft landing spot in Silicon Valley in San Francisco, I wouldn't know where to go, and I wouldn't know who to meet, and we would just sort of be dropped down with a suitcase and say, "Go make your business." So yes. they've given us such a great opportunity and the Tech Women Canada was a huge win, almost as big as Oprah. Fabulous and looking forward to uh, their next, their one next year, um, mm -hmm. so I'll be able to hopefully meet and interview some of the Yeah and gals. it's a great, great, great group of women. The 12 mm. women that I was picked with, they're all diverse, they're all interesting, but all mm. very supportive and we're all in the same boat. You know, being a woman entrepreneur in technology, it's not very common, so we're all in the same boat. And um, I I've, I've have heard that it's quite difficult generally for Canadian startups, and that's what got me on to um, exploring what's happening there, <laughs> uh, because of some Canadian entrepreneurs have reached out to me, and I wondered, um, you know, what are the challenges and what are the bonuses about being a Canadian entrepreneur? I think that um, there's a certain amount of a skill set that comes with being Canadian. And you know, you're Australian, you probably know mm. that too. There, there's a difference in cultures. And I yes. think that because of that difference, it can be a benefit because we see things from a world perspective sometimes. Yes. And I think that in America, they see it often from an American perspective. Yes. So we can come in and we understand the American culture very intimately being a neighbor to America all of these years. We see it from a world perspective and an American one. So I think that's a massive advantage being Canadian. Right. I think a disadvantage is we're unfamiliar. We, we don't have the pedigree. We don't have the, the roots here. And I think that that's a challenge right out of the gates is to sort of say that Canadians can do it just as well and that we're, we can be just as successful. We're not known for our aggressiveness. We're not known for really going after, um, after things. So I think that's also a challenge. And then being a woman, they sort of go, okay, well, why are you here? And what is this? How does this fit? And okay. so we have to answer a lot more questions. Okay. I don't see them as that. I see them not as barriers, but just that you're you're going to have to overcome and answer those, and and see that you come from an uh, from an advantageous point of view rather than a deficit point of view. Fabulous. And tell me, are there any groups um, or organizations that focus on supporting women entrepreneurs in in Canada? In Canada, there are some. Uh, women entrepreneurs is a really big bucket. Mm -hmm. And uh, they see it as sort of, well, if you have your own business, then you'd fit oh, in okay. that bucket. Yeah, the Canadian Consul General spoke about the same thing. Same problem, yeah. So it's not technology specific, which is a whole other world, mm. female or not. Mm. You know, people that are really successful in bricks and mortar type of businesses can often do technology 
startups. Yeah. And so it's that infrastructure of knowledge that's really missing in, mm-hmm. the, in the Canadian culture and missing from women entrepreneur groups uh, as a whole. Oh. So we're really trailblazing and, and thankful to people like yourself that are telling this story and talking about it because it's not what we think of as technology. There's so many different aspects to it. Yes. So we need these programs and we need these types of services and these types of connections because otherwise we sort of, we're in one big bucket. And last question, tell me uh, what the venture scene's like in Canada. Is it easy to get investment um, for a tech startup? Well, our finance minister was here not that long ago and we were quite direct with him, our Canadian finance minister. And no, it's not hard, it's not easy. Mm. Um, Where I'm from, there's angels, but their investment is so small um, that it wouldn't make a difference Mm -hmm. um, to really create something solid. The other part of that is they're really interested in bricks and mortar type of businesses. They understand that. And Canadian culture is built on sort of this hard work, bricks and mortar, those types of businesses. So if you ask them to take, you take that out of the box into an abstract technology world, they just don't get it, even Mm. though technology Technology is its own bricks and mortar, mm. but they don't see it that way. So it's a lot more challenging. And to find those people, it's again, that bucket of the venture capital bucket is very small. Mm. So when you come here to Silicon Valley and you see that the dollar amounts are greater, the, the dollars stretch further and you can do more things and it's more re- readily available. It's just a no-brainer that you would, you would access some of that here. You don't have to educate the investors because they see so much of it. Yeah, uh, they educate us, yeah. you know, more. And, it, and it sounds like it's, uh, Canada sounds a little like uh, London was a few years ago for mm-hmm. me. I, I definitely found that they would more... Sh- interested in bricks and mortar businesses. Um, yeah, I think they want to be in yes, this. Because it's, it's trendy. It's and, trendy yeah. and, and you know, even just talking to the finance minister, they're like, yeah. how can we do things better? Yeah. Yeah. They want to do things better. They yeah. just, they can't make that leap. Yeah. And so yeah. my advice to any venture capitalist that's in Canada yeah. should come do our, what I'm doing, a Canadian tech accelerator, but for venture capitalists, <laughs> and spend three months in Silicon Valley just learning it all and then go home and bring that knowledge back because that would be huge. What a great idea. We'll have to get something like that off yeah, the they really. I don't know if they'd be as open as the entrepreneurs are, but it really would be helpful to them. That's fabulous. Thank yes. you so much Thank for you. your inspiration and uh, good luck with the startup. Yeah. Thank Thank you so much.